We're gonna look at the top of page 194 and we're gonna look at express and compare approximations of very large and very small numbers using scientific notation. Number one, we're rewriting each number from standard notation to scientific notation. So if there's no decimal, our decimal is here. Remember when we're looking at scientific notation, we're actually gonna have one space, before, like in the one space, but nothing in the tens. So we've gotta get this decimal from here to here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. We moved it over seven, so we're gonna go 2.03 if there were other numbers here other than zero, we would have to keep going, but these are all zeros, so I don't have to include them in this. Okay, 2.03 times 10 to the what power? Seventh power. How do you know where to stop when you're jumping? So I know to stop because I want one space to the left of my decimal. Oh, you want one space to left? Yeah, so here, let's look at number three real quick. Let's do one, three, and five, and then we'll look at two, four, and six. So in number three, we want our decimal to go right here in between the one and the eight. But it's way over here. So we've got to move it three, six, nine, ten, eleven, okay? So then I'm gonna put 10 to the 11th power times, and I've got 1.8 left. You always want one place to the left of your decimal. Okay, that makes sense. And when you're writing out your decimal, like here, I have to write 3.001, but then after we get to the last number that's not a zero, we can stop. We don't have to add all these zeros in. Okay. So I've got 3.001, or three and one thousandth, times 10, our base is always gonna be 10 on these, to the what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 10 to the 16th power. Notice on each of these that my decimal, when I moved it, I was going from right to left. And all of my exponents are positive. We took, we wrote this in our notes last week whenever we took notes. Over here, I'm starting with decimal numbers. So instead of going to the left, I'm actually gonna move them to the right. Because I'm moving them to the right, my exponent is going to be what? Negative. Negative, good. So here, I'm gonna move it seven times. So we're gonna have 1.4 times 10 to the negative seven. negative seven. Number four, we've gotta get it to right here so that we can have 1.06 as our number. So 1.06 times 10 to the what? Negative nine. Negative nine. Here we have 2.01 times, what's our base? 10. 10. We're moving it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 to the negative 8. 
notice when our exponent is bigger, this number gets, gets bigger. When our exponent is negative, the, the higher the negative number, the smaller the number whenever you, mul whenever you multiply it out and put it in standard form. Okay, if you're in my eighth grade class and you're watching this video at home and you're not sitting in class with me, pause the video and try seven through 12 before you go on. There. Let's look at number seven where it says rewrite each number from scientific notation to standard form. So we're kind of going backwards from what we did before. And we know our exponent is positive, so this number should be getting bigger. 4.06. We're going to move our decimal how many places? Six. Okay. We have two places after the decimal, so how many more zeros do I need to add? Four. Four. That's correct. Number eight has a negative number, so we're getting smaller. How many places, how many zeros do I need to add over here before the decimal? Zero. One. Six. Six. I need to add six because it says negative seven and we've already got a one here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three. If you're not sure why we added six zeros, it's because when we move that decimal seven places, it puts us right here after the one. Number nine, it's a negative number, so we are going to the left with our decimal. It's a negative three, we already have a two, so we need to add two more zeros before we can put our number in. Number 10 is a positive. So we're going to move it over one, two, three, four. Make sure number 20,000 to 21.6. Number 11, we've got a positive exponent. Number should be getting bigger. We have one, two, three, four places after our decimal already. So we need to add nine zeros. Number 12, negative 2, 